All right. Hey Zeus, let's go to cold start. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mario, I'm usually the guy behind the camera but today I decided to put myself in there a little bit. Anyways, it's morning, just got to the office and uh, let's see what we have in store for today. So walking through, first thing you'll see when you walk in, because we walk through the back into the front, you see our garage where we basically keep all the cars. Over there is Jesse's garage. This is the slingshot section. And this is the detail section where Darren is usually detailing the cars, but he's not here right now. Anyways, you walk out, you'll see this nice, pretty good looking alleyway where Houston decides to park his car because he's lazy and doesn't want to walk. Which you'll go right through this garage, through this door right here, and then you will run into oh, Houston okay. right there to, uh, talking with some customers setting up a reservation. Like, so, okay, so if you want to take the three cars, right there you'll see the all the way that we have for sale. Okay. He's so, just no, no, some no, big deals right three, now. Let's three, see. Three drivers? Drivers. Uh, so no. the, the you heard it. Yeah, three so drivers. So three cars. You know, making money. Then, you'll walk in and see Tony. Yeah. Not doing I am. What have you done today? Yeah, what have I done what today? What have you done today, Tony? I can't say because it'll ultimately give away a lot of details on the business. What have you done today? Mario, you see this packet? Go to the overview. Don't look. Go to the overview. <laughs> the overview. Go to the All overview. Right. So, so Am I leading in sales for today? I think oh, I am. What, have you booked one today? Yeah. Oh, the event store you like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a big one for tomorrow. I got, okay. a, I got a whole uh, a meeting planned tomorrow for okay. Fast and the Furious. But I'm going to uh, interrupt real quick and then see what I have to do. Houston. Good morning, yeah. sir. Um, Hello. What's, what's on the list for today? Well, right now, um, we're, you guys are all from Paris, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody's here from Paris. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from Paris and this, this, this guy. He's the best. One. He's the best one. I don't. I'm not, no, no, I'm not no, 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 no. So they can go over there. Yeah, but uh, he, he yeah. Yeah, not drive because no license. So uh, oh. we don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I have my license, but I'm not a fan of. <laughs> so you can Anyways, there, where are you guys gonna go tomorrow? Do you know? Uh, the, the, uh, Red Rock, Hoover, Charleston, Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam. Hoover yeah. Dam. Hoover Dam is okay. Beyond the with my. Uh, yeah, I would go maybe Red Rock. It's better than Hoover Dam. It's more exciting. You know, and then you can take a bus to Hoover Dam, you know? Uh, yes. But either way you want it to go, where you gotta go. <laughs> but we you went uh, two weeks uh, ago, two weeks, two, two years, years ago. Two years ago, yeah. we went, Retro, we went Red to Rock? the Red Rock. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then yeah, Hoover Dam. Awesome. Okay, then good. Then we'll go to Hoover Dam this time. Right, so, so we're gonna do Jeep, we're gonna do White Huracan, and then we're gonna I, do I-8. I yeah. Okay, beautiful, we're gonna set it up right now. Okay, come on. What right. is on the list for videos today? Uh, we're gonna go do an exhaust install uh, on the white hurricane. Yeah, yeah I need to go back. I want to set them up real quick, and I'm gonna do a white hurricane because you know we're gonna make sure. That right, I'm gonna go check on Jeff. I'll be right there. What did I ruin now? I'm just kidding. Let's go. We're, we're going to put this exhaust on. So as you guys know, we're already installed. Uh, we've got McLaren 570. We've got the uh, 488 Spider. Now it's time for the pride and joy of, the, of our whole business is the Lamborghini Huracan. So Jesse, explain to them why this system is going to be different than our race exhaust that comes from the factory for the Red Huracan. Well, the Race exhaust in the Red Huracan still has a muffler. Jesse, can you speak so like you a have a full can about this big that looks exactly like the stock exhaust. Remember can when we, we first? Oh, I know. When we first bought that race exhaust, I was like, we are they we sure? Got no, I swear we literally that we got like, gypped. Because it felt the same and everything was the same. An aftermarket exhaust. But when we put it all together and we turn it on, we're like, holy smokes. It is the race exhaust. But everything we got going on now, it's all titanium, looking fresh. 
and uh, pretty stoked because I think uh, the Huracan. I'm, is our I'm more best okay. So car. I haven't actually heard a titanium exhaust Huracan in person. Couple of guys have them on uh, off their turbo kits and everything. But the reason that we've done so many bends here now, understand that we're working with these guys so specifically on what we want when we build these exhaust systems because all of this circular action changes the pitch of the exhaust okay so when you just have two cans like a couple of my buddies just have Straight you know life. little fart cans out that's not going to change anything of the exhaust but when you take the the air and you move it in a circle through all this titanium pipe right and then back out in the bends and then change the tips because you see the inside of the tip is coated right it changes the tone so this goes here we have the, uh, the little clamp that goes on this anyways let's get to install okay let's take this thing apart and uh, Jesus has already uh, assembled, uh, disassembled some of the stuff. Smile, smile. He's, okay. he's, he's, he's getting pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> little by so, little. Yeah. He's a master technician. What right. are you talking about? Then this just comes really off right here, right? You just Actually, pull it. The new five, oh, hold on. The, the old Huracan 610, like the 15 and 16, these are metal. This, so this is actually plastic? Made out of plastic. What the heck? Hey, Jim does. And on top of that, there's three pieces. You got one, two, what? Three. It's not one piece. Hey, and this is the purple model. By the way, I always said that the bigger one on the 580s looked better. It was just the front end of the 580s they made look kind of like dinky. Yeah. The Performante, I noticed, uh, well, when we bought our Performante a couple years ago or a year and a half ago, whenever they came out, that it has the big uh, 580 rear the exhaust. exhaust. Also, the exhaust comes up here. Exactly, but it has the 580 uh, rear oh, because okay. if we go get the Huracan one over there, it's really thin. Anyways, just a small observation. So go ahead and get that side, Jesus. Okay. Right. I need to get some gloves Wait, on. Wait, first. Okay, so for those of you asking, people want a before and after, right? They do. We so, did screw up, so let's give it to them now. All right. Hey, Zeus. I mean, not bad. A Huracan sounds pretty good with the OEM exhaust, but think of that with a little bit higher pitch and 10 times louder. Like, it's gonna be amazing. So, we're almost there. I can feel the goosebumps already. What do you think? All right, no one asked. It's a sus, you know, he's, I think he's mute sometimes. So, what? we'll be all right. All right. Oh, look, we have a cameo. If you guys don't remember, this is Hermes, the receiver of the Mini Cooper, aka previous Tercel owner, aka Mr. Got It Going On. Let's go, let's go. What are we doing here? Uh, so we're basically putting this exhaust okay. into this car. Nice. What are your thoughts? It's going to be epic. It's what what do you think about this? I think everyone who has a Huracan needs to buy this. 100%. You do not want that stock exhaust. You want to go full titanium. And these are very limited, especially if you get it through us. And once you guys install this, you guys will get the most amazing burnt tips you can possibly imagine. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No Kool-Aid. What are we doing right now? So to disconnect the exhaust, we got two bolts, well, clamps left, and they're sitting right under the air boxes. So we're going to take both air boxes out, pop those clamps off, Exhaust comes out, put the new one in, and we're ready to rock and roll in like 20 minutes. Remember when you told me when the camera was off, how you've got all of this in the back of your head? Yeah. Why, why are you taking so long then? It's already, literally been 15 minutes. Oh, BS. It's been like 47. 47 and you're standing Times around. two. Yeah, right. Dude, just smack Jesse in the back pain. one time, bro. If you smack me in the back, I will kill you when I get healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get a shot of this? What? <laughs> What? It's the official just A squatty class. potty? So, covers are off. One bolt to go. Well, not a bolt. We got clamps. Clamps okay. are stuck, so, you know, if things get stuck, we got two choices. One, you use a hammer. Two, you use a hammer. That's what's gonna happen. Use a bigger hammer. <laughs> But no, it should be coming out right now. Okay, so what is the final step after this? 
pull the exhaust on, put the new one back on. Okay. All right, let's show the weight difference. Because this one takes two people. You ready? Look at that. <laughs> flexing. Flexing. This legitimately is so, heavy. And, uh, uh, this is what's going on. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll give you a little bit of a, a backstory. If you guys watched our latest vlog of shooting a car with a cannon, that was the car we shot with the cannon. So a lot of like people keep coming to my back lot over here and doing donuts or whatever you want to call it, just trespassing. So I used it as kind of a concrete barrier, but well, it's since been tagged and a bunch of junk has come on it. So I called a uh, company today that said that they were gonna come pick it up and actually give us $75 for the car. So we gave him the title and he came over here as well. He thought it'd be in better condition, but we got a 20, okay? Huh. We got a 20 for it. And I'm actually gonna give this back to the driver who's loading this because it's not fair for me to take this money when he's gonna work really hard right now. So I'm gonna give it to him, but at least the Tracel is gone, guys. We got rid of it and it made it out alive. And it's honestly, I bet you if we had a good battery, it'd still start, even with that blown motor. Huh. It's true. So the Hermes car debacle saga is finally over. The car is gone. You signed the title away. Are you happy? Super happy. Because <laughs> I'm actually really happy because that car stresses me out. Every time I turned the corner and got on the bridge from Flamingo, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, what are we doing with this thing? Oh, anyways, but our boy over there is taking it. He's going to put it to a better home. Probably going to crush it and then melt it for whatever a metal is worth these days. But uh, it's gone and we're happy. No complaints, no HOA violations, but the FBI did come investigate. Remember that Mario, they had some questions. Can you tell them the story? Uh, I was driving over here to pick up some gear and I saw two cop cars over there. I went and talked to them and uh, they were just admirers of the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the FBI admirers saw the bullet holes. Someone called them and thought it was used in a crime, but turns out it wasn't used in a crime. It was just used in a fun video. And uh, we told them that we used it for what do we call it? A prop? A movie. Yeah, a movie prop. We're shooting a movie. So he loved it. But uh, hopefully let's get back to the spur crawling stuff. Well, um, the moment of truth is upon us. I am so excited because every single exhaust that we put on these cars have just surprised me in the way they've sounded. So right now, like I told you, cross your fingers that whatever we thought about all this spinny stuff that we were talking about is gonna make this sound a little bit higher pitched. Guys, guys. Okay. I forgot to hook this up. What do you mean you didn't forget to hook that up? There's nowhere to put it. I know. There's no more valves anymore because we're going raw. I was just going to see. Martin it's called the like, race oh, exhaust. Oh, man, you forgot something? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You forgot to put the bumper on. That's what <laughs> it looks like to me. All hey, right. Zeus, let's go to cold start. Sounds nasty. I forgot how loud the oh. Huracan is. I was but not ready for I, that. Okay, like, I want to do a comparison. So where's the key for the red Huracan? Because I want you guys to hear the difference right now. Stock, they sound, eh. but this is an OEM factory $12,000 race exhaust. Bring it forward. Okay, so I want you to hear this one because this is like the cream of the crop race exhaust.
actually the first exhaust we've ever done on any of our cars. Yeah. Put the race exhaust on it. So we're going to start this one up, and then we're going to start that one back up. But I want you to hear the forth. difference between the tones. Now, that one is, it, it's, it's not, it, it's echoing, okay? It's hard to hear exactly the difference until you're on the road, but the rev battle, you're going to hear it. So we're going to do this one and then go to that one, okay? This is factory race exhaust. This is more than a $12,000 system, okay? Now, mind you, that system over there is half the price. Okay, go ahead, Nathan. pitch now you, you you can't really hear it but I can feel it okay I feel it. like when when I'm when it was revving I had to cover my ears because it's so much higher pitch the volume and the tone is way higher so I'm very excited to get that back on the road so that we could hear it in its natural habitat so we're gonna throw some heat shields back on it we're gonna get it all buttoned up and then we're off to the races before we take off for the driving scenes which everybody loves I'm gonna break it down for you guys real quick step one rims come off step two fender liners, step three, under panels, step four, bumper cover, step five, rear bumper support, step six, top panel here, step seven, air box has come out, step eight, exhaust clamps, step nine, you got the rear uh, skeleton for the heat shield, step four, or ten, sorry, step ten, got a little mix up there, the exhaust comes out. And step 11, install. Step 11, install. Like step Mario 12, said. sound check. Step 12, sound check, which was amazing. And step 13, Mario gets to drive. Yes. I'm just kidding, I get to drive, like always. Just, just so you, to clarify things, I see people post and make comments saying, man, Houston's so cool, he gets to let him drive it after he does the install because he works on the car. But people don't really know what I'm going to explain to you right now is actually my job to drive all the cars and make sure all the cars are working properly. So I drive it because I got to make sure it works properly, not because I did the install. But just let everybody know, I am the fleet manager here. Two, I work on all the cars too. All right. Anyways, it's nighttime, guys. So we're going to wrap this up. You're gonna, well, you're going to wrap this up in the morning. Then we're going to mic it up, do some driving scenes, and it's a wrap.